In this video, I'll briefly show you how to create 3D animation both in Maya and Altia Design 12. You'll notice that it's very easy to do on the timeline both here and Maya and with the new timeline pane in Altia Design 12. Selecting this object, let's just give it a quick animation. I'm going to rotate it. Um, you can basically see I've already got one here, but I'll quickly recreate that for you just so, so you can see. So we've got it. Here's a key frame at this state 1. We come over to state 30. We do something to the object that it can record, such as a rotation, doesn't matter where we stop, that's good, and hit S to create a key. So we now have this animation defined on this object. If we export all to FBX, ex FBX right here, and ensure triangulate is turned on, you can actually bring that directly into LT Design 12. Notice that the only object in this DSN right now is a 3D object. I just set the width and height the same as the canvas. And then what we're going to do is come to the scene tab here or ribbon, say open scene and go find that on the desktop. All right, so we're looking at the same thing we had in Maya. Selecting the torus now, you can see this little icon. This node has timeline animations and you can play that back. What's really cool about LT Design 12 is that you have this very simple path from Maya to LT Design, but now also with the timeline that's brand new to LT Design 12, you can actually quickly create animations right in LTD Design. For example, if I set the position to 5 and set a key, the torus is going to continue rotating like it did before, but now it's going to go to that middle point and come back. And if you decide you don't like that, you can just go to a keyframe and uncheck the, or detoggle or unpress, whatever you want to say, the little diamond, and that removes the key, okay? Just like I added a key. Uh, one more thing that's kind of neat is you can do the same thing for materials. So coming over to the timeline animation, make sure a material is selected. This is just the material that came from Maya. If you look at Fong 1, I, I didn't bother to rename it. So we're going to go back to the timeline, say add new animation, material animation. You can call this color, whatever you want to call it. You probably call it Taurus color, but really it's it's up to you what you want to call it. Um, and it's going to expose what you can animate. Um, with respect to a color. So the diffuse color is basically its, its normal color. And so basically it's RGB 100% blue right now. Okay. So what we want to do is just create a keyframe here because, well, that's its color right now. And then we come over to 40, we're going to give it basically 40 states to change color. And let's just set this to one. And now it's a very light blue and we can set a different keyframe. Okay. And now you can see we've We've animated the green channel while keeping the blue channel the same. And we've done that across 40 states of animation. So using the same principles here, you actually can start to create quite um, you know, intricate animations like rotating a car while its doors are opening or closing if, you're, if your code is driving them both at the same time, or making cool exploded views and rotating that around. All this is possible because each one of these animations is just an individual independent animation made in the, in the manner I just showed you. Um, what's also neat is right here in LT Design 12, you can actually turn on, see how these edges are kind of jagged? You can turn on various forms of anti-aliasing and really get a nice smooth looking. You're not getting any sort of predefined movies or anything. This is randomly based, you know, real-time graphics to create your GUI on your embedded hardware. All right, so that's all brand new stuff to LT Design 12 using the new timeline pane.